Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through how to connect your device to your home Wi-Fi. So once you've got your device installed, you've got it plugged in and you have the Modern Sprout app downloaded, um, you can create your account there and get started with setting up. So go to the app and you'll see your home page. I've already got my hydro planner hooked up here, but right now I'm gonna walk you through how to uh, connect one of our grow lights. So in the top right corner, you hit the plus button and that'll help you kind of add either a hydro planter or one of our grow lights. So you'll go to the grow lights tab and click grow light. This is where you wanna go back to your light and make sure that you've held the power button down for 10 seconds so that the light is rapidly blinking. It'll be blinking about twice every second. So it's much faster than you'd think it would be. So just make sure that it's flashing rapidly and then you hit the button on the bottom that says confirm indicator is blinking. And then here's where you're gonna put in your Wi-Fi um, information if it's not already preloaded. If you've saved a device in here before, it'll just keep the same information that you've had. Make sure that you're connecting to a 2.4 gig uh, Wi-Fi network, um, and then make sure that your password is correct. It is all case sensitive, so make sure you've got all that in there correctly. Then once that's confirmed, just move forward to the next step and you'll watch the wheel uh, kind of load as you're App, as your app connects to your Wi-Fi. So once you get the 100% kind of notification here, it'll take you to this next page. And this is where you can actually rename the device. Um, so it'll default under Mod Sprout Grow Light. So you hit the little pencil up here and you can change it to whatever you've got going on. If I am gonna, I'm putting this in my kitchen. So I put kitchen grow bar and save that. Then you'll hit done and you'll be able to go into the device's control page. From here you can turn the power manually on and off and then you can dial down the brightness. This is the dimming kind of arc here. Full sun, partial shade, oh, predominantly shade. So then from here you can go into your settings. So in the bottom left are the preset settings and in the bottom right are, is the capability to make your own custom settings for the light. So we'll start with presets. We've got partial shade, partial sun, and full sun. Uh, it's good to kind of take a look at the uh, little planter cards that you have like in your pot when you get it. Just see what the plant needs. Um, but these are kind of the time schedules that we've just preloaded to make it easier for, for you guys. So if you click this little button on this, the slider on the right, it'll turn on. What you cannot do is click multiples at the same time. You don't want the, the phone to be sending two different schedule signals, that'll mess everything up. So this is just a warning saying, hey, you have a setting on, make sure to turn it off before you turn a different setting on. So you just confirm, turn off, and if you wanna change it to partial sun, you hit something like that. So right now our device is on, we can see from kind of the top here. I'm gonna turn this off and then we're gonna go and set up a custom schedule, which is down here in the bottom right. So to set up a custom schedule, it's also really easy. Just add schedule and from here, you can select what time you want it to start. So we'll do like 9 a.m. to, let's do 6 p.m. And then we want this to run, maybe we just want it to run weekdays. Make sure you select the days down here and then set the brightness that you want it to be at. And then click save. And then you can name whatever this setting is. So let's just say weekday. And from here you can add in a lot of different schedules. You know, if you want to turn different ones on, um, they'll save here. But again, if you want to make another schedule, you have to turn your current schedule off in order to add another one. 